Welcome, 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 Geminis, to this full moon, the pink full moon on the 26th of April. Geminis, congratulations. You guys have won the monthlies. Um, congratulations to all you Geminis. I so do love you guys. All right. Someone has been asking me to set, lay the cards out while we go on the video. So, um, this is it. Please remember to like and share. And remember that the full moon show up things that is, uh, um, behind the scenes that you're not aware of. And the full moon always comes up and show up, um, this, these things. All right. So Gemini, let's see what is coming out for you guys. So we have justice and this is going to be coming up in the week of the full moon. Um, justice is here. Uh, this is wonderful in the first week and I see an uh, end is coming into some sort of a um, play uh, transition debt. Uh, some of you were dealing with some sort of a injustice uh, play that was transpiring and justice came down. The energy of debt with justice is that it can be the end of a legal issue, the end of a lawsuit, um, some sort of a um, undeserved play that was going on. I see that is coming out. Now, you men, men 50 years and older, or men on the whole, in the second week, I see justice is going to be coming down on you men. You men are dealing with um, some sort of a situation um, in um, the, the, the second week, and some of you men wanted some sort of a news story, to, and this news story might not over, some sort of a legal issue is now over, but some of you men might not get a new start. Let's look and see um, what is coming up uh, to express what is going on in the second week. The third week, I see an end come up for an Aquarian man, whoever this Aquarian man is. An end is here for an Aquarian man. I see they recognize what this Aquarian man has done and justice came down on an Aquarian man. I see you have no regrets. I see some of you had received some sort of an offer. You didn't take this offer. Um, and I see you um, really didn't take the offer because you recognize that was not a good offer. Um, for some of you that is in a relationship with a Pisces, uh, with a cancer person, an end could be coming up for a cancer. They could have recognized what a cancer have done and they came down on a cancer. Then we see light is being shed, the energy of the hermit. You guys have two, three major arcana, the energy of the hermit where light has shed. Um, some sort of an information came out about a cancer. Some of you could be in a relationship with a cancer or is connected with, with a cancer. I see that some sort of an information came out about this cancer and people are seeing the truth. So here we see um, the energy of the Eight of Cups. And this energy of the Eight of Cups is that Whatever the information that comes in has created some sort of an emotional instability, emotional instability, okay? And you, Gemini, could be recognizing something about a cancer. And um, some of you is a cancer, some of you is a Pisces, but it is um, coming up for a lot of you that is a cancer and that is going to be creating some form of emotional stability um, because you recognize that an end is here for a cancer. So you could have been in a relationship with a cancer or this cancer is and some sort of a information came out about this cancer. I see the law came down and decided to end some sort of a lawsuit and uh, to end some sort of a, um, a request that a cancer had requested they're going to be ending this so let's see what you begin with ace of pentacles a lot of you gemini expect to receive a whole lot of money the energy of the ace of pentacle a new start is going to be coming back your financial in, um, situation is going to be yield Whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see a lot of you, your financial situation is going to be yield. If there was some sort of a lawsuit, I see some of you, Gemini, could be paying out well. Whatever the lawsuit is, whatever that was transpiring, a lot of you, Geminis, could be paid out well, especially you sun sign people, okay? Then we look at what you're ending, a lot of you. 
needs to leave a situation and look to the future a lot of you are looking back on the past you need to um change it and look upright and look to the future a lot of you are still looking back at the past and still rem reminiscing at the past and it's as light has been shed on um your relationship and you need to let go let go and let god okay because whoever you were in this relationship with and whatever they have cost you some sort of an emotional instability in your world and you gemini need to recognize that you gotta leave this relationship this person is uh, um tearing you down this person is taking you down this person is taking you to a place where you might not your you know ruin your reputation so you got to be on, uh, aware of what is happening and transparent and recognize it is time to walk away and let go of a emotional relationship that some of you have been having because this is not helping at all. Mm. It's not helping at all, okay? And you need to understand this and recognize this. So... Legal issues, whoever had some sort of a legal issue, it is going to be coming to an end. And I see by this legal issue coming to an end, um, a lot of money is going to be paid out. OK, and this is definitely going to be good. If you were having some sort of a problem where you were uh, waiting on some sort of a money, it is going to be happening for some of you. OK, especially sun sign people. Um, but not on the sun sign people because it's shedding light and it is a major, major situation where a lot of you, Gemini, a new start is going to be coming in to your financial stability. All right, let's see justice. Here we go. I told you, Gemini. I told you, Gemini. So, Gemini, um, a lot of you, um, some sort of a legal situation that was going on is coming to an end and I see your fortune is going to be returning, especially um, uh, for everyone, your fortune could be turning. So there could have been some sort of an imbalance. There could have been some of you uh, that money was stolen from you or people had taken money from you and uh, there was a huge legal issue that was going on and now this legal issue is going to be over in a week of April 26 or whatever you pick up this reading and a resolution is coming in. In the second week, I see they, they, um, they recognize, um, what an eye professional person has done. Now, whenever this comes up, you're thinking about eye professional people. They recognize what this eye professional person has done. And I see they came down. The legalities came down on this person. So if you are an accountant, a doctor, um, an accountant, a doctor, any eye professional situation, um, you could be caught. Okay. So we're talking about doctors and uh, lawyers and accountants and, um, you know, name it, eye professional people. Um, they are going to be coming down on you, I professional people. Um, it's as if there was some sort of, uh, 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 issues, problems that was going on. And I see you, I professional people are not going to be getting a new start, um, because they caught you for something that you have done. Okay. Um, and a lot of you thought that you, you know, and, and, you know, I'm sorry to bring this news out, but at least you know that it is not going to be in your favor, whatever that was transpiring. All right. And it's only for eye profession. I'm talking about doctors. I'm talking about people who get a high is in a high professional. Okay. Not someone who works in a import export and, uh, uh, or a, a a bookkeeper and no or a clerical person no i'm talking about manager supervisor i professional people okay all right let's move on third week an ending is going to be coming in to a cancer man whoever this cancer man is and whatever that was transpiring um uh, uh um, a cancer man if you were in a relationship with a cancer man or woman an ending is going to be coming in to this person career wise or relationship wise career wise or relationship wise some of you um men um you could be ending 
um, some sort of an emotional roller coaster that you were having with your wife because this is the energy of a married man. So married men, you are going to be definitely ending some sort of a roller coaster that you were having um, in your marriage. This is coming to an end now. So it's as if some of you men were married to someone that was creating a whole lot of issue and a whole lot of problems and uh, create a whole lot of emotional uh, situation in your life. And you men are going to be ending this and this is going to be good. Um, women, I see that you are clear in this week. You are moving forward, you women. So the third week is going to be good for you women. The fourth week, light has been shed on some sort of an information. And light is shed on a cancer man, whoever this cancer man is. And an Aquarian and a Cancer Man, light is a shed that an Aquarian and a Cancer Man had collaborated in order to create some sort of a deceptiveness and they're now recognizing. So people are now recognizing what an Aquarian man and a Cancer Man have done and how this Aquarian man and this Cancer Man had created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues. And people are now recognizing that these two people had collaborated. Light is going to be shedding on a situation, what these two men have created. And a lot of you, light is going to be also shedding on a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion person. Now, uh, whoever this is, it is coming up as a Pisces man. Whoever the Pisces man is, some of you could have been in a relationship with the Pisces man. Whether it's a family member, your husband, your partner, whoever, a light is going to be shedding on a Pisces man. So whoever the Pisces man is, expect to find out. And the situation is that a lot of you, Gemini, are looking back and thinking um, about this man and is looking back on the past and thinking, um, you know, this man could have played me or this man had played me in the past. Okay. So there could be some sort of an issue. There is some sort of a situation where a lot of you Gemini's was in a relationship with a Pisces man. And you're going to be finding out that this Pisces man had played you in the past. Okay. Some sort of an information is going to be coming out. So hold on um, before we jump to any conclusion. And then we're going to be recognizing what is coming out for the sun sign person um, about your lover. And what is going to be coming out for the moon sign person about this Pisces man? Because something about the Pisces man you're going to be recognizing in this upcoming time. Alrighty, let's go in the reading. So let's first look at the sun sign people. Sun sign people. Let's look at the sun sign people. So, sun sign people. I see your fortune is uh, um, going to be returning. I see some sort of a healing. Um, some of you um, people that was born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., there could have been some sort of a problem with your financial stability. And I see a resolution is going to be coming in. So, um, you know, people who were born 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., whatever that was transpiring, there was some sort of an in imbalance with your financial flow. And this is going to be ill. And I see a balance is going to be coming in, bringing back your fortune. So that is good. I see they are going to be coming down on a cancer. Whoever this cancer is and whatever is transpiring, a cancer could have um, um, sucked some of you dry. So let's say um, that you were in a relationship with a cancer, whatever that was transpiring. Um, I can't have sucked some of you dry and they're going to be recognizing this. I see a whole lot of emotional situation for some of you sun sign people because some of you sun sign people, um, could be caught up in a situation where, um, you're divorcing because the, if you notice the justice is here and you're divorcing and either a divorce or a separation and you are emotional because you recognize um, that you're going to be ha losing some money or you have to, um, or money is going to be coming back. So let's say that, um, you are divorcing, you're the woman, you're going to get money. The men uh, could be paying out money. Okay. So, um, uh, see, um, where you are, um, with a divorce or with some sort of a, um, settlement that is coming in and how this is happening for you. Okay. Then I see um, you men could be receiving some sort of a new contract 
Um, so men could be receiving some sort of a new contract, um, but women not. Whatever is happening and transpiring, some of you men will receive a new contract, but the women not. There is something that the women have done that is going to be coming out in the second week, and they're going to be coming down really hard on you ladies and you ladies could your contract is going to be canceled but um, not all of you only high professional people remember high professional people are like doctors lawyers um you know um births people who works with uh, um stockholders that sort of a thing very high professional people people who get a six-figure salary let's say um, per month um or a three-figure salary um they're in the above mm, yeah so, um, you women, I don't know what some of you women have done, not all of you, but, um, uh, you're not going to get a new contract, but the men will receive a new contract. Um, some of you men are divorcing and some of you men are divorcing because they recognize that your wife has uh, created, um, yeah, some sort of a, um, problems, your wife, whether your wife is as a, uh, created some sort of a problem and I see that um, a lot of you men are having issues with your wife business wife professional wise a new um, business contract would be coming in but a lot of you men are having issues with your wife where you're not comfortable and it's really married men for the rest of you you are all good all right I see you're going to be victoriously overcome an Aquarian man, whoever this Aquarian man is and whatever this Aquarian man was trying to do, a lot of you Geminis are going to be victoriously overcoming an Aquarian man. Whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see you are moving forward and you are victoriously overcoming because the end is coming up for an Aquarian man. Whoever this Aquarian man is have created some sort of a problems and some sort of an issue. And they're now in, it's as if they're now looking at what was transpiring. And I see, um, that, um, whoever that was dealing with an Aquarian man, you're going to be ending some sort of a relationship connection with this person, whether it's your boss, uh, um, a family member or what and overcome what this person have done because if you notice uh, this is about you moving forward an end has come in for this person and you're moving forward and leaving this person this person could have created a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems for you and you're moving forward letting go of this person and understanding you need to end whatever that was going on so it could be also that um there was some sort of an investigation that you have uh, victoriously overcome, especially you men. It's affecting more of the men. You women are good. Um, the third week is a good week for you women, okay? Um, in the fourth week information, you use the sword of truth to speak up and shed light. You, you have used the sword of truth to speak up and shed light on a... A Pisces man, whoever this Pisces man is, or whoever this person is, doesn't have to be a Pisces man. But um, you Gemini's use the sword of truth and shed light on an Aquarian and a Leo man as to what an Aqu Aquarian and a Leo man has done. Now, is this your partner? Is this your husband? Who are these people? Because you sunshine people, what is happening and transpiring is that you sunshine people are bringing back. Uh, um, balance in your world and it says if some of you have been having relationship issues so um with the Pisces man with a scorpion man with the Leo man with the Aquarian man whatever and um that was happening and transpiring a lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of a information and it's going to be bringing balance back to your world and this is good especially when we look at the last week so recapping, you sun sign people, your fortune is going to be returning. I see a lot of you are going to be emotion because some of you might have to be um, paying alimentation, which you didn't want it to do. And then we see that uh, some of you men are definitely um, going to be receiving some sort of a new contract. But I see women, I professional women, they're going to be coming down on some of you, I professional women for something um, that has transpired some sort of a, a information, but I see you men who are married men or having issues with your wife, especially, um, 
your wife that is um, a Cancer or another Gemini, uh, married men are having issues and problems with their with their wife, with their their marriage, their relationship, or if they're in a relationship with a Cancer or a Gemini. So there we can see this really clearly. Then as we go to the third week is a good week for women, because a lot of you women are going to be victoriously overcoming a Leo man and a, an a Aquarian man of, of, of what they have done. A Leo man and Aquarian man has created a, a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems. And I see that... Uh, whether or not these people are family members or uh, they are connected to you in whatever way, you're going to be standing your ground and showing up these people and recognizing and understanding what has been going on. And in the fourth week, a lot of you are going to be really communicating and sharing and shedding light on what a Leo and an Aquarian man has done. So they're going to be recognizing that Aaliyah and an Aquarian man has created a huge, huge uh, situation that got you Gemini's connected um, in some sort of a pragmatic situation that you're going to be resolving and getting out. So emotions could be here with marriages. People who are in marriages, you're going to be very emotions um, because um, some of you, your divorce is final and you recognize you have to pay alimentation for the rest of your life. And a lot of you are going to be victoriously overcoming and is happy that a situation between you and an Aquarian is now over or you and an Aquarian and a Leo is now over. And a lot of you are going to be speaking up and giving information and letting people know exactly what was happening in transpiring. So this is good. All right, guys, I do love you. Come back and look at every week to find out what is transpiring. A lot of you, who are you going to be dealing with? You're going to be dealing with the Cancers and other Gemini, um, the Leos, the Aquarians, and the Scorpions and the Pisces. All right. Okay, let's look at the moon sign. The moon sign, people were born um, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And a lot of you are thinking back on an ex-lover and thinking about the past. And you're going to be successfully overcoming this person. So this is like affecting a lot of people, but especially women. A lot of women were um, are, are going back to the past and thinking about some sort of a relationship that you had that has created a whole lot of emo emotional instability um, in your world. And a lot of you, Gemini, and I was reading some um, reaction that people left on the site last night. And I see a Gemini said, when are we going to be getting out of this? And, you know, Gemini's, you're coming out because trust me, um, sometimes it can take seven years. Um, it depends on your birth chart. And this is why I said everyone should have a birth chart reading um, because this birth chart reading, and this is why I do the full moons. This birth chart reading let you know who and what is there. So a lot of you, um, I've been going through a whole lot of emotional issues with a relationship that has gone wrong in the past. You need to let go of this relationship. Use this full moon to let go of this relationship. It's time to end the relationship and it's, and it's time to end um, whatever the issue and the problem that you were feeling and that someone caused you pain, it is time to let it go. Let go. And let go. This is a message for whoever have been going through emotional imbalance because someone have hurt you emotionally and you need to write it out. Write them a letter. End it. End it. So just say, listen, this is how you make me feel. This has hurt me deeply. Let it go. You can't live in the past. You gotta move forward and live in the future, ladies and gentlemen, okay? The past is the past. The relationship never worked. It is what it is. The person treat you um, um, horrible. It is good. It is their karma, not your karma. But you got to recognize this and understand this. All right, I'm moving forward. Let's see the energy of you men. Um, a whole lot of emotional problem. A lot of you men are in some sort of a hardship, okay? This is a five of uh, pentacles you're trying to work on some sort of a relationship a lot of you married men and it's going to be affecting married men and women 
that you are trying, and this is the second week, married men and women are going to be having some sort of a, or people who are in long-term relationship, 10 years and more, you're going to be in some sort of an emotional imbalance. And this is going to be putting you in a hard place between the rock and the deep blue sea because um, it's as if your partner have created a whole lot of problems um, and you were not even aware of what this person was doing in their private time and how this person was creating a whole lot of issues. And now you are left with this to clean up. Okay. And you married men are not very happy. And I see you are ending this emotional situation. What you feel for this person because you recognize that this person have done something that was, was, you know, uh, 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 inconsiderate that you, your partner is very inconsiderate and you're thinking, Jesus, how could this person have created this issue? Now I have to clean up this pain hope that this person have done. So I see that they're now going to be recognizing that a lot of you, your partner in some form of way have created a pain hope of uh, problems for you. And now you have no more emotional left for this person. You have only hurt and you ha are now placed in a, a position where there's a whole lot of hardship that is going to be coming down and a whole lot of hardship um, because of your partner and you're recognizing this now and you're really looking at it and think, yeah, this is not normal. Um, and I see this is a full moon that you're going to be letting go. You're going to be letting go and try to um, get out of this hardship that your partner has placed you. And a lot of you do not want to speak about it. Um, and it's as if your partner have you under some sort of a control that you can't speak about it. You need to get out and return to your friends, your friends that was always there for you before you got married and, you know, ask them for help to help you out of the situation. All right. So we see no new start for a high professional person. Some sort of a decision is going to be made over this high professional person. They recognize whoever this high professional person is. There has to be some sort of a decision that is going to be made over this person because they recognize um, that this high professional person have created a whole lot of issue. And um, it is coming up. This person is really um, have gone over their boundaries and created a whole lot of problems. OK, so I don't know if it's you guys or it is, you know, someone who had, um, should have, uh, protect you like a doctor or a lawyer or that sort of a thing. But they recognize how far this person have gone. And I see that they're going to be taking up this person and is going to be letting them know that, yeah, you know, this is a situation that you can't get away with. You have to take responsibility of what you have done. So I don't know if it's you guys, you Gemini's, or it's going to be someone else who, uh, should have been there for you. However, this is transpiring. They are now, um, recognizing this. All right. I see regrets, the five of cups, uh, regrets. So a whole lot of changes is going to be coming up for you, moon sign people. And in the last week, I see transition. Um, transition has to do with debt. Um, uh, how many debts are here? Uh, transition is here. Um, uh, and it has to do with the end. So, um, what is happening and transpiring is that, um, what they're showing up is that there is going to be changes, changes in marriages, changes in relationship, um, changes is coming up all over whatever that was happening and transpiring. They're going to be recognizing all these changes that was happening and that was created. And they're now going to be recognizing and seeing the truth. So a lot of you might be going through this full moon, especially moon sign people, having a lot to, to release yourself from a lot of emotional um, situation that you were carrying. You got to let it go. It's time to let go. And I see a lot of you high professional people who have done something. They're going to be coming back at you. And I see no new start is going to be coming up for this high professional person. So um, let's see that this is someone who... Um, does service for people, but there's a high professional person that has used their powers in the wrong way, and people are going to be recognizing this and seeing what this person have done. So a transition is going to be coming in, and 
whoever is in a relationship with a with a scorpion some sort of an ending is coming for a scorpion uh ending but also transition for a scorpion because they're going to be recognizing what the scorpion has done okay so a lot of you the message is you gotta heal your emotional imbalance um there's going to be a lot of problems with marriages relationships um that is going to be coming up but you just have to deal with it and for a scorpion whoever the scorpion is they're going to be recognizing and a lot of you are going to be trying to rebalance some sort of a situation that a scorpion had created for some of you okay um for some of you it's a scorpion but um for some of you it's going to be transition it's going to be coming up and it could, it's going to be good um because you're it's as if uh, someone was affecting your financial flow and um this is going to be resolved so go and check out uh the taurus season taurus season is coming up go and check out your taurus season reading i will try to put it on the top of this video um you guys have to really go and choose a crystal ladies and gentlemen it's a dollar 99 um in order to see the crystal reading okay and um I put it as at the first extended because I think that the season read that everyone should know what is coming out in the season because the season and the month are two different. So I'm, I would advise um, you guys to go check out that reading because whatever is happening and transpiring is going to be affecting you in the Taurus season. The Taurus season is about uh, the the second house and the Taurus season um, is about the second house. The second house is your financial stability. Okay, and you got to be aware of this and alert to what is going on and transpiring. Okay, I do love you, Geminis. Please remember, show your loves by thumbs up, share, share, share these video. These video is a full blown video that works together with the Taurus season. And uh, okay, because the Taurus season is very important for everyone. The Taurus season is about the second house and your financial stability. I do love you guys. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I do love you. Namaste.